ZRAM, Ubuntu, Package Management. I am about to put all three of those things into a glorious masterpiece. sudo apt install zram-config reboot. So now you have the most powerful block device on the planet right there. To take it off, you have to go sudo apt remove zram dash config then you do your reboot and then you end up with no more zram so why did we do this whole exercise it just kind of made this weird thing that says zram and it set it as swap in order to answer that question we need to talk about swap the data on your drive goes to the cpu and the cpu does a whole bunch of operations to it whatever the cpu comes up with needs to be stored and just storing it right on the disk is a bad idea what the cpu ends up doing is writing its contents onto ram if you just put everything on ram and you leave it there that gets out of hand very quickly because of that problem a compromise is made and data that is expected to be just sitting there for a while is moved to swap. So basically, one of the things that swap does is conserve RAM. By the way, just sitting there and doing nothing, that's from the computer's time frame. From your time frame, swap is actually being referred to and indexed and written and written over all the time. What that means is that the speed of the disk that contains your swap volume is going to affect how your programs run. One thing you might notice is that your computer might feel a lot faster and a lot more solid than it does with the traditional swap volume. What ZRAM does is it takes a piece of your RAM and it uses that as a compressed space. Your RAM is conserved because the data on the ZRAM takes up less space than it does on the open RAM. It still lives on RAM, so it also takes advantage of the second fastest type of memory available on your computer. But you're not able to store anything on the CPU, which is why the RAM and the swap exist in the first place. The one con that I've noticed about ZRAM is you're not able to use your swap space to freeze the state of your computer through a power down condition. Any traditional swap space is going to be able to do that, but ZRAM lives on RAM and therefore needs power. By the way, the method that I just showed you only works in Ubuntu. It's a kernel thing, so you can actually use ZRAM in any distro that you want. In fact, most of them come with scripts and packages, just like the one you saw me use today in Ubuntu. With most of those, they're either really complicated to use or you end up with a bad configuration. This is the only one that I found where you type out just one package name and then it gives you perfect ZRAM immediately. So yeah, there you go. Linux ZRAM Ubuntu Edition.